Hello and welcome back. Andy Bryan here again from the Soul Pathway. And today within this video, I'm going to be providing you with a collective Soul Pathway reading for the end of 2022. We are going to be looking at and exploring the energies of the end of December 2022, because we're already halfway through the month. And what brings to mind already for this month is to get out of your mind and connect with your heart and your soul. Because often we are so connected with our mind and our thoughts and what is go going on within our head that we are very much di disconnected from our heart and soul. So it's essential for you to right now disconnect from your mind let those thoughts disappear as you connect with your heart and your soul and as you're guided by what is being driven from within you in each and every moment. Don't look outside of yourself, but look within you in each and every moment as that is essential and that is what is beautiful. I don't know about you, but I've personally found that you know, over the past few months and stepping into the end of the year and moving forward into 2023, we go, we're all being called to look at the relationships with ourselves and the divine partnerships that are appearing in our lives. But as we connect with the, those divine partnerships, it's essential for you to honour those wounds within you, wherever they be fear, doubt, that deep sense of abandonment or that fact that you may feel that lack of self-love. It's really important for you to honour all those wounds and what they mean for you so that you can let go and release whatever wounds they are so that you can move forward in love with yourself and within this beautiful and divine partnership. What I will say is that stepping into 2023, I'm going to be focusing a lot more on my spiritual work going into the new year. As this current year, I've stepped away from it slightly. You may have noticed that within my videos. I haven't been posted, posting so many videos. But I'm being called to step back into that space and provide more healing and support. For those of you who are on your spiritual journey so that you can love accept and appreciate yourself both the darkness and the light that lives within you so let me now share with you the soul pathway reading itself i'm going to start off by you know pulling a room to connect with the energies of the end of december 2022 so i've got a lovely little bag here that a friend of mine got me and you can see all the runes in there just ever so slightly okay so i'm going to pull one of those runes and we're going to see what is appearing um for the end of december you know and what i will say is allow yourself to connect with whatever resonates for you at this time with regards to yourself and your journey and more importantly your pathway to connecting with your soul Okay, so give these a bit of a shake and I'll pull one here. So beautiful, got a beautiful rune there. So let me have a look and see what that rune means because I'm very new to connecting with runes still. I'm still learning, you know, the runic alphabet, you could say. So, um, so this is very, very interesting. From my perspective, this is all about balance and fairness because the the rune is actually manas, which is all about self, fairness and manifestation. But it's all about manifesting what you truly desire and want in your life and stepping into that place, whatever that might be, so that you can embrace that union within yourself. But so that you are 
you are having that fair balance of giving and receiving in your life and in your relationships. You know, that's essential for each and every one of us. So we look at Manas, the first rune that pops up, as I said, which is all about self, fairness and manifestation. It's a beautiful first rune there for the energies of the end of 2022, okay? So let's now look at where we are on our journey, where you are on your journey right now, and what's going on for you, because I do, do believe we're all at different stages and phases of our journey, and we all have to awaken to different aspects within ourselves. So I'm gonna pull a card here, connect with what it is and what it means for yourself and your life, and then how you begin moving through it. Okay, so we have the first card here. And the first card is, wow, beautiful, beautiful card. Very, very interesting there. So unification, unification from my perspective is all about unifying your mind, your body and your soul so that you can embrace the darkness and the light and the beauty of who you truly are. And what I love about this card is the image I chose for it because you see the tree of life there. And the tree of life is where the branches reach out high to spirit, uh, where you connect with yourself and your guides to allow them to guide and support you through life challenges and journey. Um, but it's also where the roots run deep and they run deep within us. And as you connect with that, you start to notice how you allow yourself to connect with the depth of who you are as well. And allowing yourself to become grounded, rooted and connected with who you are, because that is what is really important and beautiful at the same time. So the unification of your mind, your body and your soul. OK, so I'm going to read out, you know, what I've written in the booklet here as well, because I think this is beautifully written. Unification occurs when we come home to ourselves. Wholeness and unity are created within. The ego, the self and the shadow come into alignment as we deeply connect with our souls. If you have pulled this card, you are being called to recognise a growing sense of internal balance and harmony. Embrace the tree of life as you experience the light and love from above and establish the grounding roots from below. If you find there are difficult aspects of your shadow that are still being integrated, allow them to come into form let go and release all that no longer serves you so that is incredibly important there this will allow you to step into your higher self and feel the peace of a soul aligned life now absolutely beautiful card i i absolutely love that card and i believe we're all being called to you know come into union with who we are so that you can love and accept yourself and and embrace, as I've said, the light and the darkness within you. But what I'm going to do is is fan these out. All right. I'm going to pick three cards from this deck and see how you could begin to work through that and what it is you're going through as well at this stage and phase of your path and journey. All right. So. One, two. <clears throat> And then a third one there. Okay. Put these to one side. And we'll just check to see what these mean. All right. Okay, so this is beautiful, beautiful. First card is the Jaguar, and the Jaguar is the card that I pulled out the other day. And Jaguar is, is all about, you know, what's, what's um, lurking and being hidden within you. And I'm not sure if you've seen that number there within the Jaguar, but it's number 44. Number 44 is a very, very powerful card when it comes to, you know, connecting with yourself and maybe your soulmate or whoever is guided to you, you know. So there we've got 44, okay. I'm going to go to that card here in the booklet. We're going to read it out. 
So the spirit animal of the jaguar stands for integrity and impeccability. It teaches you to be impeccable with your words and have integrity with your actions. The jaguar's call is to reclaim his inner power and embrace your true soul essence. It invites you to connect with your shadow as you awaken to who you are. If you've pulled this card, then now is the time for you to embrace the darker side of life and explore what may have previously been hidden. You know, when the Jaguar comes lurking, it is time to resolve any in inner conflicts, embrace the power of the unknown, and release, release any fears you may have as you strive to live in truth. So for me, that is all about, you know, connecting with those hidden aspects of yourself, those unloved and unseen aspects of yourself and your shadow, those inner conflicts you may have within, because as you begin to connect and embrace those things, you not only bring them into the light, but you can begin to step into that place of unification, as I've mentioned. And now is the perfect time to, for you to resolve any inner conflict that you may have. So, as I mentioned, so that you can love and accept yourself, but so that you can live with integrity, because integrity, from my perspective, is all about your divine truth and what that means for you living in truth, living with love and integrity and knowing what is right for you in each and every moment, regardless of anyone else. OK, now this second card you know, with regards to, you know, where you are on your path is the orth orphan. And the orphan is very, very interesting. The orphan is about embracing wounds of abandonment and aspects of yourself that, again, you may not want to look at. Um, but the orphan, from an archetypal spec perspective, is someone that who's been neglected and abused in life, and maybe mistreated in some way or form. And in many ways, this is calling you to embrace whatever that neglect may be within yourself that sense of abandonment so that you can heal some of those aspects and wounds within and so that you can accept yourself in the knowing that you can trust the divine and the universe that everything will work out as it needs to be. What I will say with the orphan here is that your past does not define you. It doesn't make up who you are, but it is a part of your life. So it's up to each and every one of us to resolve that past, resolve that pain inside so that we can embrace the beauty of what life has in store for us or just generally what life is as a whole because it's lovely and it's beautiful and we all have those wounded aspects and the orphan within but much like myself I've got to embrace that wound like you have to embrace the wounds within you as well. So let me read into this a bit more. So the orphan archetype is the aspect of ourselves which has experienced the pain of neglect, abandonment or abuse. Often we are wounded by those who are unawakened or tragedy causes us to experience loss at an early age. Initially, the orphan may feel victims to circumstances and resort to manipulation and even resist taking ownership. As we grow, however, we begin to accept the appropriate help and experience the safety of interdependent mutual support. If you have pulled this card, acknowledge your shadow aspects and send love to your inner child who is seeking validation and acceptance. Notice opportunities to empower yourself even as you accept the assistance from others. So this is all about, you know, seeking validation and acceptance as well. What do we need validation for? And how can we begin to accept ourselves for who we are? Most important thing with this card as it's being pulled is for you to lean on others. Lean on others to assist you with that self-love. Because it's essential that you love yourself so that you can move forward and embrace the path ahead. And that is what is really important for you 
to move forward here you have to lean on support much like myself we have to you know in many ways we have to embark on this journey alone but at the same time you know that doesn't mean we have to go through these challenging experiences on our own we have to lean on others to assist us in healing and growing as we again love ourselves okay so then we have the final card the final card is very very interesting final card is very very interesting which is spirit animal of the whale and the whale is 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 all about your ancestors it's all about in in many ways you could say it's your family lineage so this could be calling you to you know connect with your family and heal your past so that you can accept the future and what life brings because that is what is really important and beautiful for you to embrace or step into this phase of unification okay so that's really really important the spirit animal of the whale um, this could also be teaching you to connect with your ancestors in a way that they can assist you with your healing you know your guides and your spirits to assist you with with letting go and releasing from the past so that you can love and accept yourself okay so that is some really deep cards in a way um very poignant but the spirit animal of the whale is teaching you so much about yourself and your journey and what it is you are here to heal so we go to 54 in the deck so the spirit animal of the whale is known as the record keeper for it for the whale holds within them the ancient history of mother earth wisdom is passed down through the generations and stored within our dna whales call you to connect with your ancestors and as you honor the roots of your soul if you've chosen this card then now is the time for you to reflect upon your past and note notice what has brought you to this moment in your life call upon the whale to support you in healing your karmic family lineage as you release yourself from toxic relational patterns by treating your wounds you are also creating the path for your children and grandchildren so that is absolutely beautiful so this is all about healing your karmic family lineage and those wounds that have unconsciously been passed on to you okay because like within the orphan here the orphan speaks about those who are unconscious have wounded you you know without even realizing it so it's essential for you to notice what was presented to you or passed on to you so that you're not you're not bringing those into your your reality or your future but so that you're loving and accepting yourself and and moving forward you know so those are the cards for December 2022 and more importantly the second half of December you know we've all got to heal the wounds from our family and it's not just about ourselves it's about it's about the people that follow behind us because if we don't heal our karmic family lineage then we'll be passing it down to future generations and this isn't just about your sons or your daughters this is about yourself you know and and um those people around you that may pick up on these toxic family traits or you know these toxic patterns within yourself that you need to let go and release from okay so allow this face of unification to come into alignment connect with your mind body and soul allow spirits to guide you and support you through your life journey but maybe allow yourself to connect with nature as you become grounded and rooted in, in nature um, and within yourself so that you can weather any storm that you may be facing with the jaguar allow yourself to see those unseen aspects within yourself as they come into surface allow yourself to be integral with your words and your actions start to live in truth because that's essential release any fears of abandonment or you know not being accepted or appreciated for who you are 
And as you begin to do that, allow yourself also to heal some of the Kalmic family lineage that may have been passed down to you um, through the generations. Because it's come to you for a reason and it's your time to heal, grow and love yourself. All right. So I do hope you found this reading to be valuable and useful. If you would like a personal soul pathway reading, then please be sure to head over to my website, which is uh, www.awakenyoursoulpathway.co.uk. And I provide personal readings to help you see where you are on your path and what it is that you're working through right now. Whilst at the same time, I also provide readings that are very much uh, relationship readings based on the relationships of the individual and the journey itself as well as you as one. Um, so if, if you would like one of those readings, please be sure to check out my profile there as well. You can also uh, visit my website where you can find out about numerous courses I have available to support you on your spiritual journey. I've got one called Archetypes for Life, which is all about, you know, helping you understand yourself and how you project yourself in the world. And that's a beautiful way for you to help understand your shadow and wounds within you so that you can show up as your best. I've also got one of my latest courses, though, which is all about shadow work, you know, loving and healing your shadow um, so that you can again be the best version of yourself but that goes deep into shadow work i've also got a course for soulmates and twin flames which is beautiful and finally another course which is all about unifying the masculine and feminine aspects within you which is all about awakening your inner warrior so i hope you found this reading to be valuable and useful as i've said take care much love and I do look forward to connecting with you in another, another reading very soon. Bye for now.